Hey everyone, my name is Riley and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can build an evergreen webinar on system.io. Now before we jump in, if you want to get access to my free system.io funnel pack that includes done for you funnel templates, email sequences and a full beginner training, you can get access to this for completely free using the link in the description. Okay, so jumping into system.io and the first thing to say here is that in terms of which plan you need to be on in order to run a webinar, we of course need to be on this webinar plan right here. So if you already have a system.io account, then just go ahead and upgrade to webinar. If you do not yet have a system.io account yet, then what I would recommend doing is going to the top link in the description. And if you sign up to system.io using my affiliate link, inside of this, you will get access to my advanced bonus vault. So this is going to save you a lot of time if you are not already signed up to system. But once you are signed up and you are on the webinar plan to actually create create this webinar. All we are going to do is come over here to sites, go to sales funnels, and then inside of the funnels area, we can go ahead and create a webinar funnel. So in here, we want to select run an evergreen webinar. For the name, I'm just going to call this my webinar funnel, just like this. Very important is that we want to connect up a professional domain. If you're trying to run a webinar from this standard system.io domain, it's not very trustworthy. You're probably not going to make a lot of sales. So if you haven't done that, I will pop the video that I made on domains on screen now, as well as down in the description. From here, we then want to go down to currency and we can select the currency for the product that you want to sell on this webinar. So for me, I'm just going to go for US dollars and then we can click on save and this webinar is now created. So from here, we can go ahead and open this up and we have three pages that are in here for us. We have the webinar registration where your leads can come in and they can actually sign up to this webinar. We then have the webinar thank you page that essentially says, thank you for signing up. This is what time the webinar is. You will receive a link in your email or you can go straight to the webinar right now. And then we also have the webinar broadcast page. We do need to add a few pages in here as well. So we need a checkout page so that people can actually buy the product and a thank you page. But for now, we will just start with the pages that we have. So in here, starting with the webinar registration, we have all of these different templates that we can choose from. I'm just going to select this template right here. And then in this area, something that is very important is going to be the webinar duration. So essentially the way that this works is you want to, we can't fill this out now, but once you have your webinar video recorded, we need to know how long the webinar is in seconds. The reason for this is because the webinar looks as if it is live. So we don't want people registering and being able to see the last 10 minutes of the webinar because that just defeats the whole purpose of the webinar. So once we find out how long the webinar is, when we actually create this webinar broadcast page and upload our video, we can come in and fill this in accurately. So before we edit this, if we go through and view the page, we can see it says launching your coaching business. We can then go down and see when we want to reserve the seat. So right now we just have one option for Thursday, the 7th of August at 8.45. They can then go down and enter their first name and their email and they can register for the webinar. So let's now go in and edit this. And the awesome thing about system is this is super easy to edit. So with the text, all we have to do is click into the text and then we can change this to say what we want it to say. So we can say something like how normal people are making 15, are making 15K per month with affiliate marketing. And then down here, I actually quite like this, get our blueprint to rocket your success. This looks pretty cool. But up here, I'm then going to go ahead and delete this logo just because I don't like it. Then we can go down and we can edit the text just above here where it says join the coaching business blueprint seminar. We could actually say, and we could just replace this with affiliate. Obviously, when you're creating your webinar, you might want to go in here and spend a lot more time on this page, clicking in and replacing like the background. Maybe you even want to go in here and add like a video explaining what the webinar is and what the webinar is about. But just for this tutorial, I'm going to keep this nice and simple. But in here, what we can then do is we can go to the webinar registration date. We can click into the settings and we can choose how often we want to run this webinar. So do we want to run this every quarter of an hour, every half an hour, every hour or at certain scheduled times? The most success that I've seen with this and pretty much everybody who has a big successful webinar, 
We want to run this every quarter of an hour. That way, when somebody comes in and they sign up for your webinar, the maximum amount of time that they're going to be waiting is 15 minutes. So unless you have a specific reason, you need it to be every half an hour or every hour, just leave this as every quarter. And then down here, we simply just want to collect their first name and their email. You might even want to go in and collect their phone number as well. This is not something I often collect, but we can do this by simply adding in a text box right here and then coming over and adding another form input just beneath this and in here we can say your phone number we will then go ahead and align this to the left we can see this text size is 16 so we can drop this down to 16 right here and then for the form field we will of course go in and we will select the phone number just like that. But that was just an example. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Of course, we can change all of the colors on the page by clicking in. We can go to the border. We can change the border color. We can go to the button right here. We can change what the button says. We can change the button color right here. I also recommend removing this built with system.io. Doesn't look super professional, so we can delete that. And once this page is set up and fully customized, we just want to click on save and then exit this page. So that is our webinar registration page set up. Then we can go down to the thank you page and in here we can once again select from one of these templates. So I'm going to go with this template right here. We can click in to view this funnel step. And I definitely recommend removing this at the top. It's just too distracting. But as we can see, it says, thanks, you've successfully registered for this webinar. It tells us who's hosting this, the date of the webinar, the time. And then this also gives them a link to the webinar room. So once again, we can go in and edit this page. The very first thing that I'm going to do is just delete this top section right here. We can say, thanks, you've successfully registered for the, let's call this the affiliate secrets webinar. Just like this, we can then go down and replace this text, but I'm just going to delete this because I think it just looks absolutely fine as it is with the host, the date and the time. Now something very important and I'm glad that it's been set up this way. If you come to your page and right here like you can see in mine where we have the host is fine but if the date and the time we can see text when we hover over them well this isn't going to work because this is just going to say Wednesday the 2nd of February for everybody. So what we want to do if your date and time is text and it doesn't say webinar session date well what we need to do is we actually need to delete this we need to replace it with the webinar session date because this is going to update on autopilot. So we can drop this in beneath and we can see now this is going to auto update. So now we can just maybe go to the host. We can say the host is Riley Holden. We can then see the link to the webinar room. So we have the webinar session link right here. Want to make sure that this is on the page and this is going to send people to the right page. And then once again, we could click in. If you want to change the background, we can do that over here. But all of the main information that we need is now on this page. I'd also go down and delete this as well. And perfect. So we can save that, we can exit this page right here. And now we have the webinar broadcast page. So in here, this is where we are actually going to set up and create the webinar. This is where we are going to add our video. So from these templates, I'm just going to select this one as it's much simpler. We can then view the funnel step and we can see it's going to give us a countdown to when the webinar is going to start. So we just wait for this to run all the way down. And then it's going to take us into the webinar screen just like this, where it's going to show the video. We can also add down here for text and the images and of course a buy button to pop up. And we can set at what time in the webinar this actually shows up. So let's go into edit the page right here. And the very first thing that we want to do is of course add our video. So we can click in and then for the video type, I recommend going for upload file. We can then choose the file that we would like to upload. I'm just going to add in this video as an example. So there we go. We now have my webinar in here and we can now create all of the information. So the text, the images, the button to buy, we can create that right here. What I am going to do though, just before we do this is delete this section and delete this footer at the bottom. So we can now go ahead and put these in. So the best way to do this is we actually want to add a new section here at the bottom and everything that we add is going to be inside of this section. And then what we can do is we can click this right here, this whole section. We can say, do you want this to always be visible? No. How long before we delay this? So we would look at the webinar. We would look at where our pitch is in the webinar, and then we would set it to display there. So we can now go ahead and start filling this section in. So we could make this look nice and cool. Maybe add like two columns in right here. On this left hand side, we might want to go in and add something like an image. Maybe we can add a headline above this, just like that. 
And then the button is also going to be on the left side. So the side that says buy now is also going to be in here. Then on the right hand side, we can just go ahead and add in some text and let's play around with this and see how this looks. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add an image of my digital product into here. So let's just go with this as an example. We can drop this in. We can click into this and we can say the affiliate secret course just like that of course make this look nice and cool we can add like a bold just like that and awesome then we can go over we can maybe say something like here's what's included we can go down and add like a bunch of things in here that is included in this course and then of course for the button right here there's no form to submit so all we want to do is we want to go to the next step url the next step in the funnel and that is all now set up. So for the button click, we can say, um, I want this. Maybe delete the subtext. Once again, we can change the color of the button and things like that. But the most important thing that we now want to do is just click into the section. And let's say that in my webinar, this isn't an actual webinar video. Of course, a webinar would maybe be like an hour. I think this is like a seven minute video. So just in this example, what I could say is right here, we would need to calculate this in seconds. So let's say that at five minutes, I do my pitch with five minutes, two seconds. So 300 seconds, we want to go in here. And this is when we want to start displaying this item. So just to show you how this will look, actually, I'll set this to 10 and then I can actually show you how this looks on screen. So we can go ahead and preview this. We have the countdown timer for the actual webinar. So we'll just wait till this runs down. We can then see the webinar is going to show up right here. And then after 10 seconds, because this is the way that I set this up, we should see that this is going to pop up at the bottom with the product, with everything that I set out here. And there we go, it's now appeared. So people can click through and it will take them to the next funnel step. Awesome. So now that we have that set up and now we know the length of time of our webinar video, what we can now do is we can go back here and let's say that our webinar is 700 seconds. We can set that right there. So we now have the registration page, the webinar thank you page and the broadcast page created. The next thing that we need to add in here is of course a checkout page so that people can actually buy the product. So we can go in here, we can choose the type and we want to set this to sales and order form. We'll go in here and we can call this checkout page just like this click on save. And in here, once again, we can go ahead and select from one of these templates. Now I definitely have a favorite checkout page template, which is this one right here. I think this is super easy to customize. So we can click in, we can edit the page right here. We can click into the image and we can replace this with an image of our digital product. So I'm just going to select this, pop this in. Uh, in here at the top, instead of health and fitness, we can maybe say achieving your financial freedom goals just like that then down here for the contact information we definitely don't need to be collecting any of this we just need a first name an email address and a payment method so we can maybe click the last name as well why not uh, email address we don't need a phone number we do need the payment methods and then we can set this up once again. We can change the color of this button. We can go down and add some more information right here. But that is the checkout page now created. So we can go ahead and save this. We can exit back out. And then this is very important as well on the checkout page. This is where we actually want to connect up our digital product. So right here, we can select the digital product. In the digital product area, we want to create a new digital product. We can choose the digital product name. So let's call this the affiliate secrets course in resources we can then go down and we can select a course or the community that we are selling in here in this example it is a course i can select my course right here and give them full access now if you haven't set your digital product up yet if you haven't created your course or your community or whatever you are wanting to sell i have videos for both courses and communities and how to create these down in the description as well as on screen right now once that is created though we can then go to the pricing plans right here we can go ahead and open this up once again we want to create a new pricing plan and we can just call this uh affiliate secrets full access just copy this across what is going to appear on somebody's bank card that is the statement descriptor so we just call this affiliate secrets we can set this to maybe nine 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 dollars click on save save again 
And now this is all set up. So we've linked this digital product so that when somebody buys this, they are going to get access to our course. Then the last thing that we have to do is add a thank you page. So we can go to add a new page. We can add a thank you page right here. Let me just say thank you. Click on save. Once again, choose from one of these templates. So I'm just going to go here. Let's select this template. Click on edit. And then in here, we can say thank you for your purchase. Maybe once again, we'll delete this top section just like that. Thank you for your purchase. We can go in and we can edit this. So we could maybe say in here, in the affiliate secrets course. Right here, it's going to say, check your email for the login information. So this is all set up correctly. People will be getting emailed with their login information. And the awesome thing about this is with courses, system.io do this for you automatically if you have your course set up and we enrolled them in the course like we just did. So we can go down, we can edit these buttons, we can add in things that we want to into this page. Click on save and then we can exit. And just like that, this funnel is now set up. So all we would have to do is go to the URL path right here. We could even change this so we could call this webinar. Just copy this to the clipboard and then we can open this up in a new tab. And then right here, you can see we can go through and we can reserve the seat. Right now, it's just on at nine o'clock. So that is the next session. If I actually refresh this, I think it should say 9.15 now because the next session is at 9.15. So you can see people are waiting a maximum of 15 minutes. They can then go through. So let's enter in our name and our email address right here. And we can just make sure that this works. So we can go to save my seat. And then right here, we have a link to the webinar room. Of course, we are going to be waiting 15 minutes until 9.15. If I signed up at 9.10, we would be waiting five minutes. And that's how we can create that. So now that you have your webinar created, the next thing that you will want to do is set up your webinar email sequence. The webinar email sequence will allow you to email people as soon as they sign up to your webinar with the webinar registration link. And you can also send reminders just before the webinar is about to start. This massively increases the show up rate for your webinars. And I will leave the link that I created to this video on screen as well as down in the description. So that is how you can create a webinar on system Io. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.